Hey guys, Fabio here, hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to this educational video in which I'm gonna be explaining to you exactly how to utilize trend lines in a proper manner. Nowadays, you'll often see people buying randomly at third trend line touches. They'll use the third trend line touch as their main confluence and they'll use trend lines to map out market structure. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing to you exactly why you shouldn't be doing that. <music> Okay guys, so when looking at trend lines and how to utilize them, I just wanna to showcase to you guys exactly how the average course on YouTube or exactly how the average yeah, Instagram guru, YouTube guru will explain to you how to utilize trend lines. So over here, what they'll often do, and this is mainly based off of their courses, I've been there, done that, and trust me, you don't want to be utilizing those methods what they'll be teaching you guys is, okay, first of all, identify an uptrend, right? So uptrend, higher highs, higher lows. Next thing is that they'll tell you to draw in your key level, so supports and resistance. Next of all, they'll tell you, okay, guys, now it's time to look for a third trend line touch. So what they'll see is, okay, well, we have this key area of support and resistance located over here. Let me just pull that out for you guys. Then what will they'll have is a third trend line touch. So a one, a two, and then the third trend line touch. And then number four or confluence number four would have to be an engulfing candle or a star pattern. But that is exactly where they're gonna be going wrong because what you'll often see and what you're probably experiencing after clicking on this video or before clicking on this video is the fact that you'll often see a reaction. So you will see a little push up but then shortly afterwards, the market will come back down to take you out and then either reverse all the way back up or you'll see the start of a downtrend. And this is exactly why we're not gonna be utilizing trend lines in this specific manner. So you might be wondering now, like how am I then supposed to be using those trend lines? So let me show you guys exactly how to read trend lines. So over here, I have the next example. And as you can see, it's very similar to what I just showed you. However, now we're gonna be adding in this specific part over here. So once again, what you'll have to do is identify a downtrend. So lower lows, lower highs, or of course an uptrend. In this particular situation, we have a downtrend, so lower lows, lower highs. And then what we're seeing is that, okay, well, the average trader goes short over here at the key level and the engulfing candlestick, you'll see that push down. But then what are we gonna be waiting for? We're gonna be waiting for a breakout, so a grab of liquidity, which lies above that trend line, then the pullback in towards this area of demand, which was formed by creating that push out of that trend line and out of that downtrend, then a push back in towards demand. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where you want to be going long. So write this down for yourself, study this kind of concept that I'm explaining to you guys. And now let's dive into the charts and let me show you guys how this works. Okay guys, so we're now on the charts and let me show you guys exactly how this works. So first of all, what we can obviously see is an obvious downtrend, right? So we have a high, a low, broke structure over here. So a lower low, a lower high, so trend line number two, and then another lower high at least that was expected so push number three so what you'll then see is that okay well once we get that third line touch up above over here you'll see that push down however eventually we will get that breakout up in towards the highs taking out liquidity which lies above the trend line because remember the average trader when analyzing this chart would say okay well we have for instance a fib level over here we have supports and resistance market structure. Let me just point it out correctly for you guys over here. So support and resistance. And let me just draw in the 0 0.5 FIB. So look, we'll have the 0 0.5 FIB, we'll have support and resistance slash key level. We'll have the third trend line touch. And then for instance, we'll have, let's say, this bearish inside bar. Then they'll place their stop loss above the trend line and they'll target the lows or FIB extension. But yeah, what you'll see is okay, well, we start pushing down. However, at a certain point, the market start, starts, excuse me, reversing back up in towards the highs, grabs the liquidity, and then, yeah, just forms a new uptrend up higher in towards the upside. So how are we then supposed to use this to our advantage when trading? So what I want you to do is I want you to identify these trend lines, identify these retail entries, and then look for the exact 
spot where then demand is formed. Because remember, demand forms once we start breaking out of that trend line. So in this particular situation, demand is formed over here. Then what you'll see is that in the future, once price comes back in towards that area of demand, which caused that trend line to break, you'll see that the market starts reversing and back up. And this is then where you want to start looking for those long positions. So another example that I want to showcase to you guys here. So what we have in this particular situation is a high, a low, a lower high, then a lower low. And then over here, we have that third trend line touch. So if we now dive in towards the four hour, because we're currently located on the daily time frame, what we can see is that once we get that third trend line touch, you do indeed see that reaction. However, the reaction isn't that strong. We grab liquidity above the highs. And once again, we start pushing up higher. So how are we supposed to interpret this? Well, if you have a look at the daily once again, what you'll see is that, and let me just remove this zone over here to here. What you'll see is that the market breaks out of this trend line up in towards the highs, grabs the liquidity above it, starts pushing up in towards the highs, comes back with lots of momentum, comes back exactly in towards that area of demand, which was created by seeing that push out. And then the market starts moving up higher once again. So once again, this area of demand is where you want to be going long. So with these simple concepts, what you're going to hopefully understand and what I hopefully taught you in this video is that we're not looking to trade those sort of trend line touches, but we are looking to utilize them to our advantage by exactly looking for those areas of demand and supply within the market, which are created by breaking those third trend line touches and therefore stopping out the average retail trader. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to join the free Discord server. Link is in the description down below. Have a great day and thank you for tuning in.